The year is the year 2017 of the future. I'd been relaxing in my office following a routine cyberjacking investigation when a call came on my Netlink phone. Yo, this is freelance police detective John Murphy, PI. What's the hat down? Murphy, it's the ice stent. I'm at the warehouses in the rift zone. Get your cyber ass down here pronto. What's the lowdown, Stent? I'm catching up on some dank memes here. Murphy, just get down here. Receiver jangling in protest as I slammed it home. I pushed myself up from my neurofoam cyber chair. Right, time to go crime solve a crime. I preferred to keep my files scattered over the floor and desk. I had no use for old case files. No time for memeing the W's now! I got a case to solve! The synthetic plant had no need of human comfort. The empty skull of the slackbot held no more usable parts. No time for memeing the W's now! I got a case to solve! It's been stuck to the desk since I spilled that mega juice all over the place. Anyway, if I take it, no one will know what my name is! I don't have any mission-critical material to input into the Bruna Holvig device. I ain't been able to get in my desk since I glued the drawers shut. I had no use for old case files. I never moved the wall hangings. They hide the mac and cheese stains, lol! I kept the dusty headpiece around to remember Milady by, but I'd never wear it again. No reason to open the windows. Besides, ain't safe. Bio-wasps and all that. The drawers are just painted on, dude. Casually, I leaned upon the globe, fell over as it spun beneath my hand, and quickly stood up again. The ribbon was dry. Yo, Winston! I'm going out. Want something? Oh, he's still mad at me for using him as a clothes horse. I'll get you a Calippo. It's Button, the lovable Robopup. Yep, yep. I love you, Papa. Chased a cyber disc right into an oncoming hover lorry. When you fix me, we'll have oh so much fun. Yep, yep. I keep him around for spare parts. Hmm. Looks like the door has been mysteriously welded shut. Why does this keep happening? A note had been slid under the door, scrawled in dull ink on the back of an invoice for RAM or some other computery thing. It's from my secretary, Alice. Let's read. Dear Mr. Murphy, sorry to do this. I know you said you'd be able to pay me soon, but it's been 11 years now and I still haven't. Yada yada yada. Very kindly deposit what's owed me and I'll let you out. Regards, Alice. Hmm. P.S. The room is slowly filling with neurotoxin. Yeah, out the window. Good thinking, me. Only, here in the future, windows aren't made to be opened. Bio wasps and all that. I could just smash it with a big ass brick. Yep, yep. Papa, be careful. Damage the building exterior may prompt a fine of up to 10,000 Neo tuppence. Say, how much does your head weigh? Yep, yep. Exactly 2.7 kilos. In bricks. In bricks? Um, approximately one? You're coming with me, my brick-sized friend. Thank you, Papa. I can't wait until I'm fully functional again. Yep, yep. Yeah, sure. Hey there, Button. Yep, yep. Let's play a game. Oh boy, oh boy. Yep, yep. Fetch. Shards of glass twinkle in the polluted air as they race Button's head unit to the cyber street below. Stepping out onto the windowsill, I hailed a hover taxi, because it's the future. Minutes later, 
I stepped into the scene. <laughs> Stench of fresh solder and stale street ramen. Reminder that I'd missed another meal. Yo, dudes! Good, you here. You know Detective Cop Franklin McJuice. He'll show you around the scene. Murphy? Juice? No thanks. I'm not thirsty. I was referring, of course, to his name, not offering a tasty beverage. Some might laugh at a hilarious back and forth like this, but this is the future, and laughter ain't gonna stop the net lords distributing their psi drugs to your space kids. Also, all laughter is banned. Look, Murphy, there's been a bad murder killing. I'll take it to the body. Oh, and Murphy, hope you skip breakfast. It's like a bad day at a jam factory in there, and I ain't talking marmalade. Unless it was particularly red and bloody looking marmalade. Well, get your ass in there. I'm staying here to keep the plebs out. The panel's bolted on with, like, bolts or something. I can't get it open. Looks like it's been stripped of parts already. That tape sure looks shiny. Delilah's beard, Murphy. Leave that alone. If I had some tape to spare, I'd have put it all the way around and wouldn't be standing here like a chump warding off foot traffic. What foot traffic? Potential foot traffic. What ifs? I'm a neo-rocker, dude! We hate those new mod toffs. I moved to stylishly leapfrog one of the bollards and narrowly avoided clearing its height. Hours later, I was able to uncurl from fetal position and stand again. Balls, dudes! What happened to that guy, man? Where's his face? And organs? At first we thought he was drifting in here, and drifted so hard his head exploded off its neck hole like some sort of spaceship, I guess. But then we thought, no, this has all the hallmarks of a murder gone deadly. A couple of kids found him in here about an hour ago. They thought it was some sort of voxel game, and were dressing up in the dead guy's guts like a pack of gut wearers. What a sick age we live in. Two kids, you say? Yeah, one's bad enough, but not a... you know... Pear juice? No thanks, I'm not thirsty. Okay, okay. What sort of clues have we found? This kind of thing's gotta have clues. Can't get close. The whole bloody puddle's gone electric. Have a look around, though. By all means. I can't reach it without doing that thing where you flash black and white and you can see my skeleton. First I gotta go shut down the power somehow, lol. Yeah, now, I value my non-electrocuted life. I can't reach it without being fried like an egg on a radiator that's really hot because the owner used water instead of the correct radiator fluid for their model of car and then towed a really heavy load up a hill for, for ages. Now, yeah, looks heavy and uninteresting. Neato! A bloody murder weapon! I'd better take it as evidence. Evidence that I am the owner of one sweet axe! That should take care of the power inside. Huh, <laughs> the door slammed shut. When did that happen? Hey, get me out of here. It's pitch black. No biggie, Juice. I'll just lift it back up again. Hurry, I can't breathe in here. I struggled with the heavy door, manly biceps flexing like a wobbly trifle. Yeah, that's not happening. Give us a hand, Juice. I can't see. It's pitch black and I've stepped on something. I think there's something moving in here. <laughs> Lol! It's sent to help. Jeez, relax already. I'm taking care of it. All right, Stent. Murphy, 
Think you could lift that door over there? Sure, I could, but I have to maintain the perimeter. Can't have random members of the public stepping into the scene. Couldn't I do that? It's not that I don't trust you, but, uh... Okay, I don't trust you. I ain't never seen you stand still for more than 12 seconds. Murphy! Sorry, what? I thought I saw a cute puppy chasing its own tail, but it was just a bit of empty space. LOL! Find something else to warm people away, and I'll help you out. I clambered into the taxi, yelling the address of my office over blown speakers that screeched out distorted Bali dub. <laughs> Hey, little dude. What you up to? <clears throat> Repairs to residential superstructure. Cool, cool. Say, I like your hat. I could use a sweet flashing sign. Mind if I borrow? <clears throat> Interfering with city maintenance is punishable by mandatory reality television participation. Can't reach him out there anyway. I can't reach him while he's out there. Maybe I can lure him inside somehow. If I smashed that, the drone could probably tell it needed fixing. But then where would I get all my dang memes? Mayhaps there's something else to axe up. That wouldn't make a very good filling for a Danish pastry. Hey, Winston! Baby! Feel like telling that maintenance drone to get in here? Are you sulking again? Sure, you're a sentient AI with nothing to do but turn the lights on and off in one room, but it could be worse. The, uh, globe could blow? I, I guess? Is it murder if it's only a semi-organic AI? <laughs> only one way to find out. <laughs> Didn't feel like murder. Hey, little dude. Come in here where I can mess with... I mean, help you. Conferring with Central Intelligence. Relocating for priority repair. My God, you poor thing. Do not worry. I will have you fixed up in no time. Yo, mind if I ask you a question? My god! What have I done? My poor, poor axe! The caution sign was totally baller, with its sweet flashing lights and stuff, so I took it with me. Rummaging through the toolbox, I took the only tool user. The drone's toolbox lay forgotten on the floor. All right, Stent. Murphy. Think you could lift that door over there? Sure, I could, but I have to maintain the perimeter. Can't have random members of the fine so- Oh, Murphy. Think you could lift- Sure, but I have to make- Can't have random members of the- Find something else to warn people away, and I'll help you out. Check it out, Stent! An inanimate object can do your job! Can an inanimate object kick your ass, Murphy? Probably! Alright, Stent! Murphy! Think you could lift that door over there? Yeah, let's give it a go! Gah! Moses, mother of Christ! That thing is heavy! Find something to prop it up, will ya? Yo! Lift that door up and I'll jam it with this power wrench! Right. Alright! Let's get in there so I can do some private dicking! I told you never to say that. Gene the Baptist, that guy's a mess. I know, right? Horrifying! And then, there's this murder scene! <laughs> yes, very funny, Murphy. Careful to avoid getting blood on my Blizz trench coat, I rifled through the victim's pockets. 
What's this? Matchbook. Logo of a local Cyberoki joint printed on the front. Hmm. Interesting. Some kind of clue, I guess. I slipped it into my pocket for later examination. Yeah, nah. Hey, check it out, Stent! Stop showing me every bit of junk you pick up. Yo, Juice, feast your eyeballs on this! Sure, Murphy. Very nice. I don't really want to go feeling around in there. I don't think there's any good bits worth taking. They're all second-rate cuts. I don't think there's any... I don't think there's any... I'm not messing with the wiring, even with the power out. I don't think there's any good... What the hell? <sighs> Ow! Wait a sec, this guy ain't dead. Oh shit, me man! What's this guy's deal? That ain't no guy, man. That's a damn slackbot, dude! An AI android? Here? In the future? But if it's a slackbot, what's with all the guts and smashed up insides every which way by God? I'm a crazed AI killing machine on a murder death spree. Take a look at me. Well, this just won't do at all. I guess we'd better take him downtown. Cool, cool. I'm just gonna sit here for a minute first, you guys. Hey, what's your deal, guy? Don't come any closer. Oh, robot, you up with me robo machine parts. I'm kind of happy sitting here anyway. Stent, can you grab him? Don't think I could take the slack bot barehanded. Don't have a weapon handy, do you? Something to club him with? Grab him, Juice! I'm more the passive-aggressive type when it comes to confrontation. Pain, arcing hot lightning through aching muscles. I made a grab for the power wrench. Get him, Stent! Cleave his head in with this baby! Can't see a damn thing. Where is the mechanical bastard? Oh, feck, he's got an elect gun! There you are. That stopped him. Everyone okay? It's dark as a rifter's ass in here. Oh my damn, dudes! Juice has been juiced! Sweet Lady Buddha, you okay? Ah, me insides. They're bleeding out of me like... like... Juice? I kind of like that. Oh, it's all going hazy. Hang in there, dude. You ain't lulled your last meme yet. No, that's it for me. Everything's gone all neon, like a Galway sunset, all yellowy red. What's the word? Orange juice? No, thanks. I'm not thirsty. I knew then that this would be no simple case of Cyberjack Jenny's hooch and junk on the Futu reel. Things had gotten real dank, real fast. Well, another case successfully wrapped up. Boy, could really go for some juice right now. <laughs>